from hometown Heartland, USA, Liberty, Missouri. It's another edition of Joe's Record Store, and I think this is probably the first time I've ever actually showed myself in a video, and with uh, thanks to the help of a couple of my friends who are visiting the ministry for a week, I want to give them a big thank you for uh, being the cameraman, because usually I've had to do everything myself. That's part of the reason why you just see my hands. So, uh, and uh, since you know, I got three very special vinyl releases, and um, I figured that, that I'd have my two hands a um, lot more freed up to uh, show you uh, the nice little bit of noise I got here. This is a Swiss band called uh, Necroblation. I have the CD edition. I'm not really going to play the record. I just got it for the sake of collecting it. And I'm going to, uh, again, I'm going to plug Metal Helm Records. If uh, you want to get the metal edition, they might still have some left uh, that they imported from Switzerland. It cost me about 30 bucks, give or take, but you know it's a good piece of white metal history. And uh, there's the back of it. It's just a plain black vinyl cover. I did pull it out, and then uh, I don't know the way it was. It's kind of hard to push back in, but I managed to do it. And uh, Again, again, just for the sake of collecting it, and I, I don't know if this is their first release. I got their more recent release called Stab Yourself, and um, and uh, th this one is their earlier release. Uh, look it up on, definitely check Metal Helm out if you're interested in actually getting their music, or and look them up on YouTube. Great cover art. Really good morbid display, and people within the metal subculture, they get what the message is about. And then, uh, yeah, it's very, I mean, it looks exactly like the kind of record I'd get if I went to a music shop in Europe somewhere. And here is Steel Sealed. This is the 25th anniversary edition of the 1990 Break the Curse release. Just pure solid thrash metal. Um, this was um, this was recorded before the debut that came out on Intense Records, and uh, a couple of the songs were redone and ended up on the debut to make it kind of more death metal-y, I guess. But this one is just pure raw thrash. If you like the old abrasive German-style thrash metal bands like Creator, Sodom, um, Destruction. Yeah, you know, just to name a few. I mean, it's just total raw thrash metal aggression. And I have like, I have a couple other versions of these. I actually have the original six-song demo cassette version that was released it, that I got as a kid. I bought from the man himself. You know, way back in the day when you know there was a lot of mail ordering going on. I, you couldn't, you didn't download music and. I still kind of miss that, waiting for that, you know, next piece of noise to come in the mail. And it was released under the Light Force name, look it up. And uh, then later in 1994, Nuclear Blast picked it up, and then they they released it under their their label. It had an additional track of Butchered Mutilation, and then it was re-released again by Rox Records. Uh, which I also have in 2010, the Golden Anna 30th Anniversary Edition, or yeah, 20th Anniversary Edition. I can't remember. Uh, but uh, yeah, really good, solid thrash release, and uh, the one that Rocks Records put out like five years earlier. It also comes with the CD, their very first concert under the Mortification name. And uh, his previous band, Light Force, is just more straight up power metal, heavy metal. Here's the back with Phil Campbell, who was in Light Force, and then he went away after this album. Hey, do you see a lot of glare on this? Okay, good. Because this is still sealed, so it tends to they tend to have a lot of glare on it. That's an you know, issue I've had to work with on as a kid. And uh, and Rocks Records has done a tremendous job re-releasing and reissuing a lot of the the classic uh, Christian extreme metal releases. Uh, previously they put out, you know, Deliverance Weapons of Our Warfare, Ultimatum. Again, if you just want solid thrash metal, I mean, this is definitely it. Especially with the resurgence of thrash that's been going around 
you know from you know back in the 2000s and even to now to an extent this is sweet Lynch as in Michael Sweet this guy here and George Lynch this guy here Michael and I've been a fan of both guys from uh, their bands you know since I was a kid in the 80s uh, Striper and Dawkin a lot of you know out there Michael Sweet was is the lead singer of Striper and uh, of course being that I've been a huge Striper fan I pretty much would buy anything they put out even if it's like polka noises and screaming I'd probably buy it just because it's a member of Striper and uh, of course I got all his solo stuff as well and um, so yeah there's Michael Sweet here and George Lynch you know, since I was a kid in, in the 80s, I was a fan of his band Dawkin. Just uh, straightforward L.A. hard rock. And Dawkin was musically a lot more viable than, you know, the cookie-cutter L.A. bands that came out back in the day. And uh, great guitar player, better than I could hope to be. And uh, I guess the two guys with the backs turned are supposed to be his, I guess, their backup studio musicians. I didn't even know this was on vinyl until like just a little while ago, and when I saw it on Amazon, it was an impulse buy. And uh, I have the CD already. Heard the music; it's actually great music. Uh, if I can describe it, it's kind of like like the hard rock side of Striper meets Dawkin meets like the classic late '70s radio rock, like Boston, Foreigner, Bad Company. Like uh, those kind of bands, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty much good and good straight up hard rock album. And there's the back. Again, this one I haven't opened yet. I doubt I'm really gonna play this at all. I just got it for the sec sake of being a fan and collecting it. Again, just good solid hard rock. So here you go. So I'm gonna backtrack it. Sweet Lynch, if you want some good straight up hard rock. Mortification, solid, brutal thrash metal. Necroblation, it's just like the best mix of extreme death metal, black metal, uh, classic thrash mixed with a little power metal thrown in, melodic heavy metal. And it's just great variety all together. And, uh, yeah, and if you don't want to get the CDs, at least, you know, check them out online and give them a listen if you're not sure. You can definitely hear just about anything on YouTube now. Okay, and that's it for Joe's Record Store. Thank you for taking the time to watch and look at my cool records. Stay metal.